hey guys welcome to the channel techbeast.org so so basically this video is all about the continuation of our previous video where we saw how to set up uh, a mozilla's web things gateway how to install the gateway software of uh, uh, software stack and how to uh, set it up first and this video is all about the part two which is basically we are going to create our own web things using a simple led and a dht 11 sensor which is basically a temperature and humidity sensor and we are going to monitor uh, and control all these equipment months from our Mozilla's web things gateway okay so what are the prerequisites for this uh, you need a Raspberry Pi of course to run the Mozilla's web things gateway software and you need an LED in order to control it and you need a DHT 11 sensor in order to monitor the temperature and humidity of your home I do recommend you guys to watch the part one of this video where I have given the link in the description in case you have missed the part one on how to set up this Mozilla's web things gateway first then come back here we can get our hands dirty on building our own web things using an LED and a temperature and humidity sensor to build your own web thing log on to iot.mozilla.org and click on the framework options as you can see here there are a lot of programming languages available whichever the language you prefer you can you can use the sample code and start building your own web things so here we are going to use node.js and what i'm going to do is we are going to turn on or turn off a simple led so we are going to define a led as a web thing and we are going to make it as a uh, web thing and so that we can control it from mozilla's web things gateway so i'm going to use this code sample so just copy the entire code and what we are going to do is so just i open a visual studio here and I'm gonna paste it so here we are going to remove all the unwanted items so here we are not going to use any actions or events so I just uh, delete it and all the unwanted items we are going to delete the overheated event so let me delete this fade action because we are not going to do any fade action so and the property here is we are just going to turn on and turn off the gateway uh, sorry the LED and uh, we are not going to control its brightness so let me delete it so in case if you want uh, more properties you can keep uh, adding more properties uh, according to your uh, device so here um, as I said before there is no action we are gonna do so I just deleted it and no events I just deleted it so now you can see the code is very simple and what we are going to do is okay I just need to uh, change this a bit so what we are gonna do is v4 and uid v4 and I need to add uid module sorry so basically this is the way to declare the uh, universal unique identifiers so basically we we won't use this um, uh, module for this project but however this comes with default if you are uh, gonna do some events or actions you may need to use this okay so here uh, let me just revise this i'm going to change it to my led and it's a web connected led okay so just change the name accordingly and the interesting portion here is what we are going to do with this and how this code will really control the LED. So now we need to search for some good NPM modules available. So for LED, I have chosen here. So I'm going to use this on off NPM module. So you can see here. So you can install this module in your Raspberry Pi just by typing npm install on off and it will help you to install the module. So now I'm just going to copy paste this uh, two lines of the code where I'm going to define this uh, uh, LED and uh, I'm just going to define which pin number I'm going to use in my Raspberry Pi. So I've just declared here. So GPIO, we need this uh, require on off module and I'm going to use pin number four, for example, GPIO four to control my LED. So here now the interesting portion is uh, whenever we turn it uh, turn it on from the gateway the LED should turn on and whenever we turn it off it should turn off so here we are going to define a new function okay so the function here is basically uh, you're going to uh, define a new function so what this function basically will do is we are just uh, I can show you here so the the way to turn on and turn off the LED is this is the command LED dot write sync value okay so what we are going to do is we are just going to paste it and instead of value we are going to pass our uh, uh, function so the v so if value of v is, is equal to true you can make the led on and if the value is false you can make the led off okay so that's it so now we have defined a simple um, uh, led which uses the npm module on off to uh, control it 
that's all so remaining things is like we are going to run this uh, web thing as a server and the server will run on port 8888 and it's just a single uh, thing okay so we are in my in next next i will show you how to create a multiple things so let's take a look at the single thing first so i'm just gonna copy this code and let me open my raspberry pi i'm already inside my raspberry pi console uh, okay so so maybe let me just um, create a uh, maybe pseudo nano so what is it maybe uh, test led maybe my led sorry i have already created this file before so you can see here my led dot js so basically if you take a look cut it more or less it will be same so the, the same code you can see inside so all the files uh, sorry okay you can see here so i have just defined all these uh, uid gpi04 and it's a uh, web connected led and all these kind of stuff so basically now what we are going to do is i'm just going to run it node my led dot js that's it so this will start the server and you can verify your server just by going to your browser and type your raspberry pi ip address and what is the port number we had used? It is 8888. Okay, so when you type this port 8888, you can see your web thing available. See, cool. So you can see your web thing available. The browser is responding as a JSON file. So now, uh, what's the special feature available here? So if you have a web things gateway with you, the moment you click uh, add devices, you can see your device available inside the gateway so this is basically happening through a uh, multicast uh, domain naming system so you are uh, within the network as long as you create your own web thing the gateway will try to fetch all the available devices and uh, display it for you here so that you can if you want you can just uh, define it as an on off switch and you can save it so done okay so now i can able to turn on and turn off my led which is connected to gpio4 of my raspberry pi okay so now uh, let's go and build something more okay so we are going to build now a multi uh, uh, multi multiple things together as a uh, as a single web thing so led dash th let me create a single a simple file led dash th dot js so what we are going to do is this uh, web thing will have an led and also a temperature and humidity sensor so let me just go to this um, web thing npm so you can see so the, basically this is the npm module uh, created by mozilla team team members so you can you can we can make use of it to build our own web things so when you just click uh, the repository it will take you to the github page and you can when you click example you can see some sample codes so when you click multiple things so basically this is the code now we are going to use it to create a multiple uh, web thing which will expose an led and a temperature humidity so let me just copy paste it and similar to what we did let's uh, remove all the unwanted actions and uh, events okay so let me delete this overheated event let me delete this uh, fade action let me delete uh, okay so example dimmable light never mind let's use this um, to declare our led here and i'm gonna delete the uh, brightness option and let's delete the uh, actions and let me delete the events okay fine so now this is the portion where we are going to define our temperature and humidity sensor okay so it's not a fake humidity sensor it's a real humidity sensor so so let's let me just rename the class so what are the class you want you can just define it so uh, before that so here so this is the code where we will um, define the actual uh, pin number to read the temperature and humidity values but here it's just a dummy uh, random values it's generating so we don't want this anymore we are going to use a real uh, temperature and humidity sensor so so this class uh, is mainly for uh, your humidity and uh, let me just copy paste and create another class mainly for my temperature okay so okay fine so now let's uh, rename it so gpio humidity sensor and this will be gpio temperature sensor okay so what i need to do is we need to change all these values the temperature is humidity is in percentage a web connected humidity sensor okay fine the humidity will be uh, in between the value 0 to 100 yeah that makes sense so let's just leave it and you can see the set interval here so every three seconds we are gonna pull the sensor value and we are going to showcase in the web things gateway okay so <clears throat> 
now let's come to gpa or temperature sensor so let me just rename it to temperature sensor and it's my temperature sensor and it's a web connected temperature sensor okay so the current humidity value so here the 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 unit is uh, degree celsius so what we need to do is so uh, the current temperature is in degree celsius so let me go to this uh, node dht so here for this purpose we are going to use this node dht sensor module so npa module we are going to use this module so which is very easy you can install it to your raspberry pi by just by typing npm install node dht sensor and it will help install so you can uh, follow the connection diagram and connect the dht 11 sensor so here i have connected it to my gpio 27 okay so so basically this is the code just you can use and you can test it out uh, okay so here you can see the degree celsius here so let me just uh, okay so i don't want to make it complex so let me just copy paste the uh, unit here and that's cool then the unit is uh, degree celsius okay that's fine so the title is temperature okay okay so now we have created a temperature sensor and a humidity sensor and a web connected led okay that's cool so now where we can pass this actual sensor data here okay so that's where we need to use this npm module so let me just copy the code here uh, so where sensor live so we need to define this uh, sensor library so we can just define it globally just define it globally then uh, let me define let me also define this on off okay so we just need to define all the parameters what are we are going to use for this project just define globally and i'm going to use pin number four for my led okay and pin number 27 okay so let me just uh, go to this node dht and let me just copy paste this code after treat okay so let me just scroll down so this is the value which will help you to uh, pull the this is the function which will return the temperature and humidity value where you can uh, uh, display it on the gateway okay so let me just this is the real dht 11 sensor data okay okay so here we are just uh, gonna use only indoor okay and the pin number here i have used here is 27 and so we are going to have two functions here one is to read the temperature and one is to read the humidity so what i'm going to do is uh, so console.log so let me just delete this console.log and what we are going to do is we are going to return the readout dot temperature value and timeout okay anyway we already have a set interval to query the uh, temperature every three seconds so i don't need this anymore so let me just delete it and where app so everything is fine like so totally uh, this function is now returning temperature and just copy the same function and just paste it here and we are gonna edit the function for humidity so just i missed a comma here so readout dot humidity okay that's it so now what we are gonna do is we are just going to read this temperature value and the humidity value in our code here so here what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna app dot read humid and here what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna read the temperature value app dot read temp now we have defined two classes here gpio temperature sensor gpio humidity sensor so we just need to uh, use the same name here okay so so then only it will create a thing that represents a humidity sensor and a temperature sensor so let me just change it to humid and let me create the same for temperature so let me just create a variable temp and what i'm gonna do is i'm just going to use gpio uh, let's uh, temperature function okay gpio okay so gpio temperature sensor that's cool okay so now we have defined uh okay i think the light is still example dimmable light maybe let me change this to uh led web thing okay so it, it makes sense right so it's a real device so we are not doing any uh, fake sensors are simulating here so led web thing okay so this is the 
dimmable uh, LED it's not an LED it represents an LED so you can just edit whatever you want here and it's basically a TH sensor it's a temperature and humidity so light let's change this to LED humid temp so whatever all the devices you define here so you can see you can you will use the multiple things uh, class and you can uh, define all your sensor here inside this array so here we have a humid sensor and a temperature sensor that's it so it's basically a light and uh, temp device or else I can change any name so it's LED temp and humid okay that's it so now as you see the now when you start the server so this server will expose three things one is the LED sorry I need to change the name to LED and one is uh, the humidity and temperature sensor which is uh, which we are pulling every three seconds from this uh, NPM module okay so that's it so now we are good to go so so here we need to uh, use the same function which we used so earlier so let me just delete it and let me go to the LED and let me copy paste this just for the sake easy right okay that's it okay okay so now okay so you can see here we are using GPIO 4 and we are using GPIO 27 for the sensor so let me just copy this code and you can see uh, inside the I uh, log on to my Raspberry Pi and I have already created this file inside so cat led dash th dot js so you can see all the um, code available inside so whatever we did you can see it inside okay so now it's time to turn on this multiple web things okay so let me just go to uh, my Raspberry Pi and run the command node led dash th dot js that's it so now let's go to this WebThings gateway and maybe let me uh, remove the previously added LED. And now when I click plus, you can see three devices here. My LED, okay, and my temperature sensor and my humidity sensor. So you can just add all these three devices and you can see the values in uh, the WebThings gateway. That's so cool, right? So now from the gateway, from the WebThings gateway, I can turn on my LED and turn off my LED, which is connected to GPIO 4 here. Yeah. And so here you can see the temperature and humidity sensor, which is connected to GPIO 27. And it's every three seconds we are polling it here. So my current room temperature is 31 degrees Celsius and it's 85 percentage of humidity. So now we have learned how to create our own web things gateway and how to build our own web things using some sensors or actuators, whatever you have. Okay, so basically all these code, whatever we discussed in this video is available under uh, GitHub. And I have again given the link in the description, which you can check it out and you can just fork it and you can just uh, run the LED, which is for single thing and LED dash TH dot JS, which is for multiple uh, web things. Okay, so thanks for watching. Uh, Keep in touch. If you like my videos, please subscribe to the channel and comment. Uh, and thanks for watching, guys.